Hey everyone, welcome back to All About AI Tech. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of brain-computer interfaces, BCIs. But we're taking a look at a company you might not be as familiar with, Cognition. They're going head-to-head -head with Elon Musk's Neuralink, but with a completely different approach. And guess what? They're backed by Amazon. Stick around because we're about to explore how Cognition is changing the game with non-invasive technology that could help millions of people worldwide. Let's get started. Cognition is a BCI company focused on transforming intent into action for disabled individuals. Unlike Neuralink, which requires surgical implants, Cognition's solutions are non-invasive. That means no surgery, no implants, just powerful technology that can be used immediately. Imagine giving someone who is paralyzed the ability to speak through a speaker or control their home automation system, all with a simple headset. That's the future Cognition envisions. Andreas Forsland, the founder and CEO of Cognition, says their mission is to help more people sooner. He's a big advocate for patient-first design. While Neuralink might aim for high-definition BCI systems, Cognition aims for practical, scalable solutions that millions can use within a few years. Forsland believes most people aren't looking for the perfect tech solution. They just want something that works and is the least risky option available. So, how does Amazon come into play? Well, Cognition has received significant investment from Amazon. One exciting aspect of this partnership is the integration of Amazon Alexa technology into Cognition devices. This means users will have full control over their smart homes, enhancing their independence and improving their quality of life. Cognition offers two main non-invasive headsets, Cognition One and Axon R. Cognition One is already available for researchers and can be used in therapeutic, diagnostic, and even prosthetic applications. Axon R is a more recent development and is designed specifically for clinical settings, offering features like augmented reality displays and physiological data tracking. Think of a paralyzed person using Cognition to not only speak, but also control apps and monitor their health data. The impact of Cognition's technology isn't limited to its users. It extends to their caregivers as well. By enabling individuals to communicate and control their environment more autonomously, Cognition redefines the role of caregivers. Instead of being constantly on call for basic needs, caregivers can be true companions, focusing more on emotional and social support. This ripple effect of increased independence is transforming lives. According to the World Health Organization, 1.3 billion people, or one in six individuals globally, experience significant disability. With the rise of non-communicable diseases and longer lifespans, this number is only going to grow. Forslund's goal is to help 100 million people worldwide with speech and mobility issues within his lifetime. That's an enormous impact and shows the scale of Cognition's ambition. Cognition's devices are already making waves in healthcare. The clinical variant, Axon R, is being used by notable institutions like Johns Hopkins, Mass General, and the Veterans Health Administration. These partnerships help fast-track the approval process, and Cognition is on its way to becoming the first fully FDA-cleared BCI device. This is huge for ensuring safety and efficacy standards are met, allowing the technology to be rolled out on a broader scale quickly. While Neuralink grabs headlines with its high-risk, high-reward invasive technology, Cognition opts for a more immediate, safer path. Neuralink's market, as Forsland points out, is relatively small, focusing on extreme use cases. In contrast, Cognition's non-invasive approach has a much broader applicability. Both technologies have their strengths and weaknesses, but Cognition's strategy is tailored for more immediate, widespread use. Cognition isn't the only player in the non-invasive BCI market. Companies like Nextmind, acquired by Snap, and Meta with its VR headsets, are also exploring this space. However, none of them are as focused on healthcare as Cognition. On the invasive side, Synchron and BrainGate are making strides too, but face similar risks and challenges as Neuralink. Cognition holds a unique position by balancing innovation with practical, scalable solutions. What's amazing about Cognition is the variety of use cases. From unlocking speech via a headset to controlling home appliances and entertainment systems, Cognition's technology is versatile. This adaptability makes it a valuable tool not just for individuals with disabilities, but also for the broader technology landscape, bringing non-invasive BCIs into everyday life. Imagine the life-changing impact this technology can have. We're talking about someone who could be paralyzed from a spinal injury or suffering from a condition like cerebral palsy, 
using this technology to gain more control over their day-to-day -day lives. Hundreds of people are already using cognition devices, experiencing newfound independence and improved quality of life. It's heartwarming and inspiring to see technology making such a tangible difference. Last year, Cognition received FDA Breakthrough Device designation to fast-track its approval process. This shows the company's commitment to meeting rigorous safety and efficacy standards. They're not just delivering cutting-edge technology, they're doing it responsibly. This fast-track designation helps bring the benefits of Cognition to those who need them most, more quickly. Regulatory success is key for any medical technology, and Cognition is ahead in that regard. Cognition isn't just a company, it's building a community. They regularly engage with patients and their families to refine their technology. This feedback loop ensures that the products are not only cutting edge, but also user-friendly and effective in real-world settings. This patient-first approach is part of what sets Cognition apart from other players in the BCI space. Cognition is also making its mark at global tech conferences. For instance, the Axonar headset was released at the AI for Good Global Summit in Geneva. This kind of industry recognition validates Cognition's approach and highlights its potential for both immediate and long-term impact. They're not just participating in these events, they're leading conversations about the future of assistive technology. Looking ahead, Cognition has a clear roadmap. They aim to expand their technology's capabilities and reach, potentially even beyond healthcare. The consumer BCI market is huge, and the possibilities are endless. Someday, we could see Cognition technology in mainstream consumer products, providing benefits to even those without significant disabilities. It's an exciting future, and Cognition is at the forefront of making it a reality. Thanks for joining us in this deep dive into Cognition's groundbreaking work in non-invasive BCIs. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We're constantly working to improve our video quality and provide you with the latest updates in AI tech. We want to establish a community where we can all learn and grow together. Leave your comments below and let us know what you think or what topics you'd like us to cover next. Your support is invaluable and we appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, stay curious and stay informed.